Movie freaks, what's happening? My name's Dan. These are the Hero Lair meatheads. Josh, Sean, Mario. Uh, recent trailer for Justice League hit while New York Comic Con was going up. Let's do it. This is what you're doing. <laughs> he said let's yeah. do it too. <laughs> what are the odds? Right. Free trailer. I have a bunch done here. It's all a dream. <laughs> it works though, I like it. Man, I gotta say, like these, <clears throat> the action sequence, especially in the end where everything's red and, yeah. and all, it's so different. Mm. Like, I, I hope it looks as good on the big screen as it is here, well, but it could go either way. Cause it's, some, very, it's very similar to what the, to um, uh, the, the battle against uh, Doomsday. Where everything like they, they, yeah. they took that color tone. Yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. similar to that. Similar, yeah. they, 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 take, they took that same kind of climactic color palette. Right. Well, I, I think it makes sense because mm -hmm. like it looks like towards the end they're trying to make a fire pit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know, yeah, apocalypse, right? Yeah. So is, uh, as long as it fits, mm -hmm. yeah, that's exactly. all that matters. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's an interesting action style. Whereas a lot of the Marvel movies have like you know this big civil war battle happens in an airport. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of the other fights aren't so otherworldly which i'm sure they'll need to push now that they're fighting thanos and stuff but that that looks like straight from a straight from a justice league comic. yeah, yeah. And, and definitely another like dimension they, they, somehow they, even though i know it's earth but yeah it's dimensional but they also like they keep the shots tight they keep yeah. everything like it's a little bit you know how like there was all the, the backlash obviously about like when superman like destroyed all those towers and everything like mm. here it's like all the all the shots are in a lot more like secluded areas. They're all in very kind of like almost desert like areas. They, they do, yeah, very yeah, much like yeah, areas yeah. that look look like they've been abandoned or yeah. or you like they do have like an outer worldly feel, but even though they are earth or something that's been changed on earth too, mm -hmm. right? Because that's the other aspect that mm -hmm. can happen. Yeah, that's right, yeah. But it, it looks action wise, they've departed a lot from that man of steel grounded. Because when he when he fights Zod in Metropolis in Man of Steel, it 
the, it looks very grounded. Like it didn't look, even though obviously they are in a sound stage yeah. and it's CGI, it didn't look heavy CGI. Mm. This one, they're pushing it, but only a couple of them am I seeing like, okay, well that's very fake, but mm. it still looks cool though. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't well, know if I'm explaining myself more, properly. But I think it's it's more, I'm still down yeah. with it though, because yeah. it's such a different It's a comic feel, book you know? style. Yeah. yeah it's yeah, a it is, comic yeah. book style. So all what you're talking about is that they're using special effects and they're using that to create this comic world much like 300 did and yeah. much like because uh, like 300 was all done on a sound stage mm -hmm. and all done with with fake background so you you have almost that style where like the cape or like the the speed lines and all those become the background yeah, and i think it's, and i think it's a more it's a justifiable a justifiable suspension of reality where mm -hmm. it's not like, like some films they'll they'll put kind of this um very flamboyant kind of style of, of, of combat and, and cinema in right. where it's not justified. It's just like, okay, that's just the guy who's fighting. Why are they these, why are they these sounds? Why are they people flying all over the place? Mm -hmm. Like from impact where here it's like, these the people are super powered. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it obviously fits the bill. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, like that, again, that, uh, that color pa palette, I think is just very much what Sim says, it's just uh, apocalypse being made manifest on earth. Mm -hmm. It's going to change everything, right? Yeah. It's going to change the look of everything. It's going to change the atmosphere of uh, atmosphere, everything. And it gives it a sense of urgency and too. One, one of the biggest, like one like of the biggest things that I think that came out of like uh, Batman v Superman was the fight scene and how a lot of people were saying that that was the best Batman's ever looked fighting. And I, I think they kind of brought that more onto this as well. So like they had that comic book style yeah. fighting, and they're bringing it onto, and they're expanding it in this. And I don't even think it's just comic book style fighting. I think it's more like an evolved sense of combat. It's it's more like if you saw, you see Wonder Woman comes like, in, like, like wire work, right? Like, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> Wonder Woman comes in on, 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 with that like uh, with that ground sweep, right? Like that like really yeah. that really. Like tactical, believable ground sweep. Yeah, it's exaggerated because she has like that. Like crouching power. tiger. Please don't stop. Please don't. No more. <laughs> send, if Josh doesn't like wire foo for those who are just joining us. Please send him recommendations. The Matrix was justifiable. That's on it. Every That's wire, it. On any wire foo movie. Please send it as we'll many as you can. Crouching we'll tiger. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Anyways, so um, yeah, so I, I think um, the way that they grounded the combat with Batman um, last film was was amazing and I think they're incorporating that more evolved sense of like even they have even though it's it's um, an exaggerated sense of physics it's still mm -hmm. grounded by a sense yeah. a, a general understanding of physics where it's like okay they can generate this amount of force they can send a person that far yeah you know what I mean they have this amount of power they can jump this far and it's like it's believable and it's almost like keeping within their like um Power rankings. Yes, yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they have a better concept of that. Do they still lose it here and there sometimes? But it's better than it used to be. Did you see that one scene where um, there, there's uh, Bruce is kind of looking for here, like he's he's kind of looking off, um, and he's he's at a computer, and there's an image of the cape. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that was Supergirl. Yeah, because, it did, it because like I, I saw I saw I saw boots. And yeah, I saw the boots that look. People are going back and forth. Right? Yeah, I don't know. I what saw, do you think? Because yeah. you know you watch all the same. Well, uh, you watch all the same YouTube videos I do. Yeah. People trying well, to. Well, that's the thing. Um, they were they were saying that they they're having the new uh, the new era hats. And yeah. They had the black Superman um, symbol. Yeah. So the black Superman symbol in the comic books is when uh, Superman actually uh, after he dies. And, he, and he's brought back to the Fortress of Solitude. They give him the suit so he can uh, it's a regeneration absorb the suit. Yeah, mm -hmm. absorb yeah. the sun. Mm -hmm. So um, and he grows a mullet. Yeah. So <laughs> and the description kind of like my hair, right? <laughs> and the description is um, fantastic. Basically, that um, this this um, Superman symbol is the same Superman symbol from the movie where um, Clark puts on the suit to regenerate, and um, after he has it, and he, during his battle with Dark side, so dark side, it might be there. So that that'll be kind of hype too. Mm. I I like, I like it. I'm gonna watch it. Mm. I don't think it needs to be an A plus. Right now, it doesn't because of Wonder Woman and mm -hmm. the success of Wonder Woman. It yeah. doesn't need to be an A plus. It just has to have an all right story and a, and and some good action. And I think people will be happy and they can move on yeah. to the next one. It did, a ha happy ending, hopeful. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm I'm, I'm kind of optimistic because um, isn't the 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 director of the original Avengers? Didn't he? Jo Joss Whedon came on yeah. to finish it. Because yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm good with that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I. I 
I, 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 everybody wants it to be like, you know, it's almost like the first black guy playing a new sport. It's like you have to be motherfucking Superman. I don't, I don't need it to be, I don't need a movie to, to walk on water. I just need it to be a good, well rounded yeah. movie. You know what I mean? It's just. No, that, 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 I definitely think it's a little bit yeah. a little bit of more than that. Yeah. Like yeah. it's well, and we'll see, right? But it, it's there. There was yeah, obviously the, the Jack, Zack Snyder walking away and Josh Whedon coming on, so you have a little bit of a different feel and a different look. Yeah. But there's also there's definitely a lot of Schneider in this as well, though. Like, yeah. especially from the visual aspects mm-hmm. and and the, the the cinematography is very Schneider, which mm-hmm. I personally love. I, I love that very comic book feel mm-hmm. yeah. to uh, to this. Type of like thing. it's pretty exciting. Like if you told us, you know, eight years ago, or you know, or let's say 2012 when Avengers came out, yeah, and be like, yeah, Justice League movie, it's gonna be co-directed by Zack Snyder, Joss Whedon, the guy who did this. You're gonna have fucking Ben Affleck as Batman. Yeah. It's interdimensional, have, yeah, and they're gonna fight fucking like, Stephen exactly. Wolf and everything else. Would be like, yeah. are you fucking no. No. <laughs> like we, we that, you could never get that. No way that, could you get both yeah. of them together. Yeah. Right? We're still holding on hoverboards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Un- unfortunately, you know, it took a, a tragedy, a personal tragedy yeah. in Zack Snyder's life yeah. for this to happen. But uh, mm. you know, they've both been working together and um yeah, you know it looks too. like about joss, joss whedon's i think reshot a lot like i think they've spent a ton of money in yeah. reshoots mm. um i think wonder a uh, rumor is wonder woman's role has been upped which is smart, which make, smart to do sense since it was because, so popular yeah, 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 yeah it only it makes there. sense um well, well what really stood out to you in, in this one thing we'll, we'll go down for first thing that really stood out that you hadn't seen in previous trailers that I hadn't seen in previous uh, trailers. Yeah, skip me. I skip me out. Yeah. I was I'm, in, with, I'm inundated. With, but. with me, it was. Uh, <laughs> I think very quickly we actually saw Stefan Wolf's face. Yeah, yeah. Very I'm quickly. Just, like because before he was always being hidden, we actually saw him swinging. So I'm I'm gonna freeze frame that. Hmm. Okay. So I, I saw his face. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, okay. I can so actually see what he looks like. This is what stood up for me. The um, the writers. Um, like the, the Amazons, yeah, yeah, it, well, yeah, and no, no, not the Amazons. The uh, I think that's what we saw. We Parademons. saw par- parademons, parademons. And Amazons yeah. riding in, riding into them. Yeah. No, there was something else I saw on that looked like maybe. I, okay, I may, I'm gonna do it again. Watch it again. Yeah, let's do but it, it again looked now. like there was something like demonic that had jumped on top of one of the horses. And it looked like so was something like I know there's a transformation. Well, it looks like one yeah, yeah, got transformed. Yeah, so like I feel like maybe maybe some of the Valkyrie got transformed. Yeah, and taken over because it looked like there was something sinister about what was riding on the horses. They looked like, like, let's go one more time and we'll, we'll talk through it. This one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I love the song too. It's a version of uh, yeah, David heroes. Bowie's heroes. Yeah. Oh yeah. We can be heroes just for one, one day. day. Oh. This got me. I was I like, liked it, finally man. we got to see Superman. Yeah, this, this was, this was, uh, and I like how the Clark Kent scene. And I'm like, how oh, arrogant is this proposal, though? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that's yeah, a lot. Yeah. But it's Superman. Yeah. Come on, like, no. he just stands there looking at you when you do something yeah. wrong. You're, you're yeah. a burglar. You got this, you're yeah. cat, you're we, got your we, sack we, full of money. I love the dollar sign. He's just going to be like, hovering there looking at you. You also got to, you guys got to also think it's a trailer. They can always do things out of context and out of time, right? So, guess that. You never know. Why wouldn't you? I'm super. Yeah. It's like, oh fuck, he's dead. This this kind of bummed me out. It's yeah. Like, oh, is that it? Like, all right, he's dead. Yeah. Now this part here was just a little wrenching. One oh, is the loneliest man that you ever do. Like, how do you start dating again? Yeah. 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 <laughs> who is your who's your best well, you know, uh, boyfriend? Yeah. Superman. Like, because those are the Amazons. Pair demons over time, yeah. right? That looks yeah. Stephen Steph oh. Wolf smashing everything around. So this kind of transformed. Yeah, yeah. Now look. Yeah, oh no, that, no, no, they just no, had a head, just, a head it was just, Yeah, it was just the Amazon. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's all. I thought. I, I just thought there was something else going on in that scene, but there wasn't. This was good. I got goosebumps at this point. Yeah. When I first played it when the volume was up. He infuses like his character with a lot of himself, Jason Momoa. Yeah. Almost a bit too much sometimes, but. Still like them. Oh, they, they, they had to change. Is it? Yeah, well, no one's expecting an orange it. jumpsuit. But yeah. Yeah. We are not I'm just like, you know, maybe not. Yeah. No, I wonder, who's, I wonder who's Seth fighting Wolf. there. Seth yeah. Wolf. Yeah? Seth Wolf. See, there you can kind of see. Mm-hmm. It's like the first thing yeah. in space. 
Do you think that's Supergirl, see, huh? Do you see oh. the back of the legs? Did you see the b- behind? The it looks very feminine. Above yeah, the boot, it was yeah. feminine, and above the boot, there was this like light color. I feel like that's yeah, Supergirl. Yeah, it just looks a little feminine. I mean, there there is Those like that is look feminine. like Superman's got blue. He's got blue and red, right? Yeah, yeah and, and you're right though. Yeah, there was there was another was, color, and, and it, it looked, looked like feminine. yeah, like a skin tone. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. I mean, so we don't know if it's a red herring or not, but there is still from Man of Steel. There was that open pod on that uh, yeah on that ship that crashed. Car, yeah, right? I, I'm th- I'm going with Supergirl. Be cool if they introduced if they could keep that uh, a secret. Oh yeah. Yeah, they need, I think they learned their lesson. Mm-hmm. They definitely learned their lesson with Doomsday. Yeah. Signal that means we have to go now. Yeah, that's what that means. That was like a be nice. Just be nice. <laughs> Please, we need him. He's like, he's like the Marvel. He's like the Marvel. The the answer to Tom Holland in, in Spider Man. Yeah, that's they're it. The same, exactly they're the same. the same. The exactly same character. It's like that's exactly right. what he is. All right, it works. Yeah. I'm just pop, I'm, uh, freeze framing it now on when we see Steppenwolf. Okay, it looks kind of looks interesting. Definitely looks like a creature from another p- planet. Yeah. Very cool. And a little Loki esque. Well, I'm watching it. Yeah. <laughs> or a little, uh, it almost looks like Dobby from. Yeah. <laughs> it's like if Dobby got off. Isn't it crazy that, that like the the winter season seems to be a lot more exciting than the summer season? Is I know. From Wonder Woman. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. It, it, it's a crazy uh, kind and, of turn of events, really. And, and it will be more. Office. And it will be more successful. Like between uh, um, Thor. Uh, Justice yeah. League and yeah. Star Wars. Oh come on, yeah. Those so are... four, fourth quarter will be much more profitable than summer because I think yeah. this, this summer's domestic box office, like, at least for North America, was pitiful. Yeah. Mm. Just everything sucks. But is that the, them, the is money that them trying to change the... it, or is that uh, like what? What do you think is behind that? But why they're choosing stuff outside? Of yeah, the like are they trying to change yeah. the, the the market? Yeah. Because that it really is kind of stacked in the the fourth quarter's favor. If you look at the year, right? No, I, I think I think they realize like, yo, Star Wars is coming out. I, mm-hmm. I need to get around. That. But they moved it though. They, they moved, moved Star Wars. It, it, yeah. yeah, yeah, they still haven't been able to go back to May. They've always said yeah. it's going to be May, yeah. and they bump yeah. it. And then Episode uh, Nine was going to be May, and then now that they fired their director and brought back J.J. Abrams, that's going to be December again. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, I hey man, you, you get good movies from yeah. like, like we watched Logan in March. Awesome. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It was great stuff, kind of all the way through. It's just so somebody needs not? to tighten up. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know, I think it's it just goes to prove that yep, you put something out that's quality done right. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It's marketed properly. We will go. People yeah. will go to the theater. Yeah. You know, we'll we'll make we'll make time to do it. So uh, this looks sick. We'll watch it another three times. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments if there's anything big that we missed. <clears throat> um, but yeah, we're, we're done. You know, you know, we're gonna be there. Check out some of our other videos on the channel. More stuff from New York Comic Con. Don't forget to subscribe, and you can follow us on Twitter at the Hero Lair. We'll hang out with you again real soon. Thanks. <laughs>